a very warm welcome to Yielder Spreadings 5D. We're here to do your psychic uptake for your zodiac sign, which will be love and general psychically tuned in. We also do cover your twin flame path here at Yielder Spreadings, as well as by element for the twin flame path. Now we are live on Fridays. 10 a.m. as above on the screen and also three times a month on Wednesdays in the Members Hub. Now the Members Hub has three levels. We have the Twin Flame Hub coaching room, the second level which is pre-release content and the third for all your extension reads. Without further ado, let's get into your psychic update for your zodiac sign, sun, moon and rising. Hi Aries, welcome back. We're here to do your love and general read and it's for both couples and singles. I have pulled the cards and we're going to get straight into the energy. Um, I do feel this month you guys have um, an emotional upheaval and that doesn't have to be something bad but I do feel a major decision is going to be made. We do have Spirit of Water here, tongue tied. And we've also got Spirit Keeper of the East. So in a sense with your emotions, with your feelings, with the flow, I don't feel you're just naturally going to go with the flow this month. I feel you're, you're actually putting the brakes on. And with the brakes, it's so that you can make a conscious decision that you are relevantly emotionally connected to. And I feel it's coming through very practically. I feel it's really in assessment mode. But I also feel you need to be deeply passionate about things or the waters are going to become choppy. So it's really giving you two polarities at the minute that you're not wanting to move forward unless you can assess where you're at and what, you, you know, what, where, why, how, that's where you're at right now. For those of you in a relationship right now, this can be that there is a pause on when it does come to what you're doing, how you're reacting to it. And again, it is emotional based. You're tapping into your own personal feelings and you're looking at how life is resonating for you. You do have connections here at the moment coming up for those of you who are coupled. And the connections can be a place where you may be resonated, um, but there can be nostalgia relating to people of the past and your interconnections, but also your contracts. Um, I do feel with the connections, if they're not boating and they're not interconnected, it could be that both parties maybe don't see eye to eye with the connections. It may be a viewpoint of what you're wanting versus what they want moving forward. And there is something to do with heart-centered energy and you personally assessing what is correct for you. I do feel there is going to be almost a warning bell. And if the relationship is conducive with you, this can be a deeply beautiful, passionate time. There can be a lot of healing. Uh, but I do feel for those of you, if you're in a connection and you're really not resonating with it, this can be a very choppy time. And there may be conflict relating to, I'm hearing the term conflict of interest. The conflict of interest can be another person, but I feel it's also groups. It's what you want to do in your emotional time, how you, you know, what your passions are at a very personal level and how they me mesh in to this direct connection that you are currently in. So there is, again, this has been coming through for all the zodiac signs that are in couples. Those of you who are in that higher octane and really resonating and growing and building within a connection, it's moving and evolving and changing, but it is a new chapter. Those of you that are really in a connection that isn't resonating, it's going to have the real writing on the wall and it can be coming up, um, you know, emotionally based, physically based and very, um, very in your face, so to speak. I do feel there's this rebellious energy and it's like you're actually now going to start making ripples, but the ripples are going to be you standing up for yourself. You saying, look, this isn't what I want to do this week. This is what I want to do. This is my passion. This is what I'm wanting to have happen in my life. Um, so it can be healthy boundaries, but at the same time, it's almost like there's a pause. And I do feel for a lot of us, the, the energy is going to lighten, but as we move into the new moon and Leo and beyond, we're really, really going to be on mission when it when it does come to where we're going in our life. So the writing will be on the wall and we're more going to be in our purpose. I do feel that you're actually wanting a give and take and I do feel you're looking at it and saying, hey, you know, again, I just keep hearing conflict of interest. I don't know why I keep hearing that, but that's a very strong um, term coming through for those of you in a connection. 
Uh, this this card breaks down to an eight and it is infinity. We are having the new moon in Leo and it's almost by the new moon in Leo. I do feel sudden revelations are going to happen. Um, I also feel you want to be part of something. You want to be feel that you're connected in. And so if there's an balance, it simply won't resonate and they could bring some conflict up. If it's flowing and it's more um, conducive with where you're at, it's it, it's going to be fine. But if it's not, the writing's really going to be on the wall. But I'm hearing the term conflict of interest. So I feel many of you, if you are in that demeanor and you are in assessment mode, this is where it's going to come up and the revelations are coming from. But I do feel you're going to address the emotions and you're going to be swimming through it to get to the other side. Ultimately, I feel if you're feeling it's not resonating with you, you're going to put the brakes on. And you're going to be like, look, we need to talk about this. And I may pull another um, clarifier. Only because I do feel the conversation's coming up. Now, some of you also that are in a very, um, you know, very happy relationship, I feel it's almost you're building. You're looking at it and you're going, right, where are we going? What are we doing? But you're stopping and you're planning. It could be a bit heated still. And I still feel it could be hated, especially misunderstandings. Yeah, I, I feel pretty much from last week to the um, new moon in Leo, I feel within the first, um, you know, one to two weeks, many of you can be looking at the bigger picture. You know, where is this going? Do we have the same values? Are we in this connection for the right reason? And how do we get back on track to that? And if you can't, I do feel from a healthy um, boundary point of view you'll be looking at the emotion and saying hey this needs to be addressed now but regardless both both those of you that are happy and those of you that are on the fence there is going to be a change and there could be an issue to do with values now those of you that are single we have we have something to do with a person from the past now there could be, again, a circumstance that's playing out that is bringing up emotions. And I do feel it's almost you're quite nostalgic of this energy. Now, this nostalgia is how do we move this ship forward? How do we go from A to B um, with things the way they are? For some of you, it could be that one party in this situation isn't ready to commit and it may be due to a third party situation. But there's emotions here and it's really coming up and it is showing that you may resonate, you want a new beginning and I really feel that. There's an emotional energy here but you also want a new beginning. So, but something has to give in order for that to happen and I do feel, again, I'm hearing um, the new moon in Leo. It's almost like this is very much a very strong portal. Now, it doesn't mean to say, even though in the spiritual community we talk about the Lionsgate portal in a very positive sense and a manifestation and with new moons we get the void moon. Um, not really great to manifest on a void moon. It's releasing and letting go. And with any new beginning, similar to the full card in Tarot, we need to have an ending before we can have a new beginning. And I do feel collective consciousness is coming through where we are spiritually coming to terms for things before we have such. So there is this reflection of the past. There's also a reflection of what your needs are inside of a connection. And I do feel you want it to be very, very deep. Um, there has to be something to change in order for that to happen, I feel. And I feel it's really from a point of view of knowing what you want and where you're going. Let's pull a card on that. Okay, what is going to happen for those that are in the single connection, please? And we will assess the other areas in life that are directly impacting the love domain. Yeah, I do feel this person is really your hope and dream. And I feel it's, um, again, Jupiter and Pisces was really taking us back to some really beautiful memories and some very distorted ones. So it can be a lot of shadow work, but it is a, it's definitely a spiritual connection. Um, and it's really coming down to a reality check in order to have those dreams. What will we need to do on our side and their side? But I do feel for you, Aries, it's this revelation in order to have this, something would need to give and something would need to change. So the emotions are coming up, but as you release, I feel you naturally are going to attract this dream energy in towards you. But I do feel it's very spiritual in nature. Yeah. <sighs> 
I do feel for both couples and singles, and I, I'm, I'm guided around the table to really tune into what they want to say, really relating to love and how it's directly affecting it. Now, in the external environment, there appears to be something that um, you're not passionate about, Aries, and it, it could be needing to leave a circumstance in order to, you know, be with a particular person. It can be in order to get back things back on track. The healing and the connection is coming up. So, yes, triggers and love can come up. But I feel many of you can feel, A, either critical towards yourself or that there is criticism projected towards you. Nevertheless, I do feel there's healthy boundaries being forged. And there is a chemistry between you and an individual. Um, and it's almost the demeanor that's coming through is, look, this is what I need um, in order to happen. And that can be you, Aries, or it can be your romantic interest. But I do feel... Um, you're having to be quite centered when it does come to your contracts as well as your love life. And that's people around you, point blank zero. You know, being loving and being understanding is one vibration. But there's also, in order to build and have an emotional balance, we need to articulate how we're feeling. And I feel many of you could be really expressing this. Initially, I feel it can be quite um, quiet and closed off. But I do feel by about the second week, you could be quite vocal as to what you're needing. And I feel you're going to be quite centered, but I do feel you're really going to be creating firm boundaries with people so they don't step on your toes. Now, your work front at the minute, there is great things happening. And I feel this is really setting you up for the future. So if you are looking for a job at the moment, this can be a really positive time, especially if you've had a beautiful creative idea and it's something that you want to venture out and do yourself. I feel by tuning into it, pouring your love and attention and trusting the process, I feel this can be very positive. Um, but be cautious of who you're sharing your information with, especially moving into 2022. A lot of what we're doing at the moment is that base foundation moving into 2022, but it's really keeping your ideas quite sacred. Um, but, you know, not getting paranoid, you know, knowing that anything that is truly yours in universe, especially that is manifested, is there for the taking. Um, we all get the lower and the higher octane in life, but I kind of feel it's almost like you feel the situation is a bit too good to be true. Um, keep on that vibration. Try not to be paranoid because I do feel you're divinely protected. Just ask your guides to protect you. But what I am seeing is that you do have this protection. And through your manifestation, it's actually giving you a door and a window out. Um, and what do I mean by that? It's going to be quite subliminal. Um, psychic messages are very subliminal in nature. They mean something directly to you. It's taking you to your future. It's taking you to that higher level. So whatever is happening at the moment, like the laws of attraction, you're attracting it in. Um, many of you could land a job that you just never believed you would get. And I, I, I kind of get this feeling, don't get paranoid. Um, and I feel it's more than likely because you're detached, you're actually attracting really great energy. And I do feel there's other areas you're focusing on at the moment. And I also feel for some of you, there may have been a feminine energy that was quite problematic. And that might have been on the work front. Um, this person could be a little bit older, uh, but there could have been a, maybe a run in. This might have been a previous job or a current one you're working at. But I'm seeing a female energy, and, and I believe they are in their 30s, 40s. Um, this person is a bit problematic, okay? Just, you know, black it out of your mind, because I do feel it's going to be solved. But at the moment, you're just aware of it, and you're trying to take steps to get yourself to the highest ground. If that means you're wanting to transfer, I do feel it's saying it's going to be quite positive. But really trust your instincts at this point. Um, because your consciousness is telling you the correct way. Now, your your money sector, it's, again, it's heart chakra, and I do feel from the new moon in Leo, plus with all this Virgo energy coming through at the moment, you're going to look at practical ways to utilize your cash. Now, you might have been working super hard for this to happen, and if you feel you've hit a wall and you don't know what to do, release it to universe, and I do feel from the new moon in Leo, you can have a lot more cash component coming through. If there's a problem, you know, rejection is the universe's protection. Please, again, trust the process. Doors are going to be opening. That window is going to be open. Usher in this new vibration. Use some crystals to help manifest such. And that can be really heart energy. I would say um, pink quartz, um, jade, and, and really detach. You know, if you just keep on mission, keep on purpose, 
do what you can do within your control and detach and I do feel if you can do such really as you're resting and releasing the news coming in some of you could have a repair of goods some of you are having to replace certain things and yet again I don't feel this is bad I feel it will go a long way um, and the money again is going to be recouped so please trust the process now in your intimate life it's funny because we have the two of swords here and we've got the sacral chakra <sighs> i feel you're needing to come to a compromise on love and i feel in your health domain you know it's the healthy give and take but it's also with whom you share your aura with your venus house is libra and i'm seeing the scales here and i feel at the moment with aries and chiron retrograde it's almost like you're going through a spiritual healing and you're assessing what's correct for you and I did say with the waters being choppy, you need to have a very spiritual connection, okay? So within your love life, because your Venus house is Libra, it needs to be balanced in a give and take. And you, you will move into your highest octane and be able to be vibrationally successful if you feel the give and takes there. If it becomes imbalanced, it can be this mission to keep achieving such and doing all of it yourself. I am seeing many of you are looking at that and seeing how it has impacted your health. And I'm feeling there's an emotional connection to a person, but there's also a need for some of you. It could be that you're relating into a Libra. Um, but many of you, point blank zero, in order to be open, you need to feel that you are balanced and the connection is balanced. And I do feel this is really coming up emotionally as a natural need for you. Um, if you have been doing too much, and you know you maybe have been expressing yourself in a way where there has been a misunderstanding i feel it's going to balance out this month and i do feel there potentially can be some conversations to um iron out decide and balance out i also feel uh many of you are working hard you know you, you could be looking at your appearance you might be very critical towards yourself But there's changes there's definitely changes relating to it i'm also seeing that when you like i said when you're grounded and you're feeling better in a connection you're going to be able to get the best out of your body your body your mind your soul you just point blank so you're going to get more out of it i feel you need to be um there could be some wounds coming up intimately and that may be that you're wanting to feel safe to be able to express yourself um I do feel again a major decision is being made but i do see some of you exercising um and i was going to say something else then that's so random exercising looking after your well-being but again that of what's happening outside is actually happening inside just pause for a minute yet again i don't think you need help with that aries i do feel you're going to reach this revelation regardless of what you need and how it's impacting your health your family i feel you're quite split you're trying to reach forgiveness that you can't make everything perfect i do feel some of you may have had wounds relating to childhood or children but i do feel there's a direction change okay there may have been things that you wished you had had but you're reaching peace with there might have been a value that you held inside of a um a growth connection you know from your childhood where you felt that maybe it was uneven in the give and take um and i also feel that I i'm seeing a sister energy i don't know for some of you this could be somebody that is directly related to you giving you some advice and it is coming from a place of compassion and love and i also do feel very firmly for some of you if you've got siblings i feel there is um reconnections with people that you resonated before and i feel there's apologies and solutions some of us will move away from certain groups and others of us will reconnect but i feel this there's a person i'm seeing is giving you direct advice and i feel it's really freeing you and helping you be able to make a decision at this point and i feel this person's going to be quite a key in your month um aries i do feel it's going to help you see something i also feel your family may have viewed something and they're saying to you look this is the way i see it this is the way you need to look at it and it is a gift and a blessing so it, it's helping you really get into the emotional energy to manifest successfully 
but also to be able to heal. Or I am seeing a social event, but it could be a friend's birthday. Interesting. I do feel there's a person on the other side that is watching and they're super proud of you of how much you've changed. I also feel that, um, again, you could be talking to somebody who is like your best friend and it may be in relation to a very icky situation you're in at the moment. And I do feel this choice is almost like a T-section in the road. But I feel you're actually talking to them and they're kind of saying to you, okay, come back to what you want. Very separate to everyone else. Because remember, your crowning energy for the whole month is emotions. And we can't give to others if we can't give to ourselves. And I feel you're having this revelation. It's like, you know, going into home at my meditating, talking to your nearest and dearest, um, letting go, healing, growth and compassion, making a wish. What is your wish, Aries? And I feel by looking at it and moving into your place of heart, you're taking a critical look on it. We do have at the minute Virgo. Okay, we've got transits in Virgo and we have Mars in Virgo. Now, you guys are Mars in energy. So with this, it is heart chakra and higher heart chakra. So you're having a massive heart chakra activation at the moment. You have so many heart chakra cards here, it's not funny, that you are reaching closure. You're also reaching truth to do with an emotional connection you have and needing to move forward towards it. So you're going to know what to do and how to deal with it. But I do feel somebody's coming into your path to help you see such. Love and light, I will see you during the month. Come through and see the Psychic Romance updates as well as the Twin Flame. And I'm live every Friday. Thanks for joining Yildiz Readings 5D. I trust that you enjoyed the content and love to hear your feedback. Now, yes, we're live every Friday for the Twin Flame update for the collective energy, as well as if you do click the bell, you can get the community post update because you don't get notified of lives. Now, the Members Hub also has three sessions a month now at $11. If you do want to come and join us, especially for all the extension rates, which are at the higher level, you can find the link on the main page here you can see it above the screen and it gives you the three tier levels additionally i do see you throughout the month for your romance updates for your twin flame and the moon energy and more so have a great month and i'll see you on the other side and yes i do private readings the information is in the info box love and light guys